During the pandemic, we need to streamline our discovery process. We needed a rapid way of understanding our clients' needs and quickly prototype an idea that we could validate. We turn to Jake Knapp's Design Sprints. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to discuss how we use Jake Knapp's design sprints. In Jake Knapp's book, Sprint, he proposes the way that they work at Google Ventures and promptly brainstorm and produce some sort of output that they can validate their ideas through user testing. When I first got to Mahara, we did a service design blueprint for one of our clients as our approach to solve their problem. I found this process really long-winded and I knew immediately that we needed to trim this down. We work with early stage startups and these founders don't necessarily have the funding to do 12 weeks of research before they get anything from us. Design sprints are collaborative. They typically include a cross-functional team with varying expertise. These roles might include the facilitator who guides the team, the decider with the decision-making power, designers, developers, marketers, business stakeholders, and subject matter experts. The primary intention of a remote design sprint is to answer critical business questions through rapid prototyping and user testing. It fosters innovation, accelerates decision-making, reduces risk by validating ideas early, encourages cross-functional collaboration, and ultimately can save a business both time and money by avoiding investment in the wrong direction. Here's a few things you need to prepare before you get started. Define the challenge. You need to get the founder to articulate the problems that your team will be required to solve. Assemble the team, ensure all required roles are filled and everybody understands what their role entails. Schedule the sprint, determine the schedule, taking into consideration different time zones due to geographical locations. Prepare the tools, make sure all participants are familiar with all the tools they'll be using. Prep the workspace. Set up a digital workspace like FigJam in advance with necessary templates and resources. The process. Let's break down the process. Day one, understand. Align the team around the problem, target user, and goal. Day two, diverge. Everyone sketches solutions individually. Day three, decide. Review and vote on sketches. Then decide on which solution to prototype. Day four, prototype. Create a realistic prototype to simulate the product. Day five, validate. Test the prototype with real users. After a successful remote design sprint, you can expect several tangible deliverables. One, a tested prototype. This could be a clickable interface, a product model, or any other tangible representation of the solution. Two, user test feedback. Insights from real users who have interacted with the prototype. Three, a clear plan forward. Based on the feedback, you'll have a clear plan of what works, what doesn't, and a way forward. Four, documentation. A record of the entire process, decisions made, and any ideas generated. Some of the tools that you need to use for remote sprints include setting up online chats through something like Google Meets, Zoom, Skype, etc. You need a digital whiteboard like FigJam. Of course, there are other boards like Miro and Mural. Some tips and tricks to host better design sprints. One, prepare well. Ensure everyone understands the process, their roles, and the tools. Two, manage time effectively. Keep everybody on task. Make sure that you use the timers in the tools and be considerate of the fact that people are in different time zones. Keep your energy high. As a facilitator, your energy sets the tone. Maybe have some music for those quiet times when people are brainstorming and make sure that you keep 
the enthusiasm high. Get somebody who's rather animated so that uh, people don't lose enthusiasm and people are encouraged to keep going include short breaks. People don't have the ability to stay focused for very long. So make sure you have regular breaks and everybody understands the agenda for the day. Five, record the sessions. Make sure that those who can't attend and participate can at least watch the session to understand the outcome. Remote design sprints or problem solving workshops as we refer to them are a great way of connecting with our clients, connecting our teams, bringing together our expertise with their subject matter experts. And through this rapid prototyping and testing process, you can validate these ideas and give them a path forward. My name's Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool. Hey, before you go, if you like this video, then why don't you watch the video on how we do design QA over here? And you can subscribe to my channel over here.